This is an overview of the Clarify PR for integration with 8x8 installation procedure. Uh, we're going to start off with just going through what's required on the 8x8 side prior to installing the Clarify PCI application um, that will enable, enable you to stop and start the native recordings within the 8x8 solution based on a URL within a web page, um, that URL often being associated with a payment page. So first of all, if you look at my screen, um, we're going to log into the 8x8 admin portal and make sure that the call center users are configured for call recording. This only uh, this integration only works on 8x8 call center. It doesn't work on 8x8 work on its own. So because we have no control over 8x8 work calls, the user shouldn't be set to recording in 8x8 work. So if we log into the control panel, we can go, if we went to the admin console and looked at the user that we're going to do this testing on, we can see that the test user, Ellie Smith, has recording set to off. So here we can see it's never record calls for this user. If we now go back to the control panel and choose configuration manager for contact center, which is where we configure the users that have the contact center license. Under users here, we can go to the same user, Ellie Smith, and start to configure the call recording settings. So as you can see, under automatic call recording, we have 100% of inbound queue calls being recorded, 100% of direct inbound calls, and 100% of outbound calls. We also need to set the recording controls to agent is able to start and pause recordings. The Clarify client replicates an agent stopping and starting the calls, so it's important this is set correctly. Without this, the Clarify client wouldn't be able to stop and start the recording based on a URL within a payment page. So make sure those settings are set for any users that need um, call recording, as well as users that are going to be uh, recorded and have the Clarify PCI client. So once that's done, if we just look at the uh, what a typical call looks like in 8x8 and how it's recorded, we can compare it to later on and how a call is recorded with the Clarify PCI client with parts of that recording stopping and starting. So we will log out as the admin. And we'll log back in as the user Ellie Miss. So at the bottom here, we can see 8x8 workers running. And if we double click on it, it's already logged in as Ellie Miss. Once logged into the control panel, we can go to the contact center portal for that user. And then we can make a test call. So this call is now connected, um, as you can see, because of our call recording settings, if the agent wanted to stop and start the recording, they could press the stop recording button here and then start it again. If we hang up, the call is now recorded. The duration looked like about 27 seconds at 11.25. So if we now go into the uh, analytics section of the control panel, we should be able to see that recording ready for playback. So here, here's the recording. 
let me just refresh this. It may not be that one. OK, this is so um, here's, here's the recording here. And if you play the recording, you can see at the bottom you've got the timeline of the recording. And uh, there's no stop and start events associated with it. So that's uh, just an overview of the a typical recording in the 8x8 native recording portal. If we go to the application panel, we can click on Configuration Manager for Contact Center. And within here, there are three things that we need. Ideally, paste them into a text document, and then you can copy those, uh, that inf those values into the Clarify PCI clients. So under in integration, click on API token and copy the action request token into a text document. In the URL at the top, you need to copy the platform ID, which is normally something like VCC hyphen EU and then a two digit number. And then finally, we need the tenant name. So under home and profile, copy the tenant name you can see here. For each of the users, you would also need the uh, email address. So for Ellie Miss, we would go into her profile and copy the email address located here. With that information, you're now ready to install the Clarify PCI for 8x8 clients, where you can configure it to stop and start the native recording based on URL changes. So we'll move on to that section next. So you should have received a link to the Clarify PCI 8x8 download. Once you have that link, if you download it, there are various ways to install the client application. Um, it's an MSI, so you can use Intune and um, you know other methods to roll it out across multiple users. In this example, we're just going to install the standalone copy onto this workstation. So here's the installation. It's simply a case of running the installation. Once it's complete, it will get added to the startup. And you will notice in the system tray, the Clarify PCI application running. By default, the Windows notifications are set to on. So anytime there's an update with this application, including stop and start events and so on, there will be a Windows notification. Now, depending on your preference, you might prefer to um, click on the three dots next to the notification and turn those Windows notifications off. Um, the Clarify client will change colour when a call recording is stopped or started. Um, so there isn't necessarily a requirement to have Windows not notifications active as well. So let's now log out as the administrator and go back into Ellie Miss and her call centre portal. So once the Clarify application has been installed, you can double click on it and enter the settings. Once the settings have been entered, they're greyed out and they can't be edited by the user. That's just to prevent the user from being able to um, make changes that prevent the system from working correctly. So open the text document where you save those values from the admin, from the contact centre portal, and then paste in the tenant ID, the platform ID, the application token. Pause timeout means that after X number of seconds, it will resume recording. If you set it to zero, then it will only resume recording when the browser window um, isn't active anymore. The email address associated with the 
888 call centre user. So for Ellie Miss, we had this email address active. And then the URLs that you would like the system to trigger the stop record, recording the command. So we've got paypal.com here to, to reflect the uh, test call we're going to make. Now we're going to make a test call to see how navigating to the PayPal URL causes the 8x8 recording to stop. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14. So we can see here the icon has turned white, as it has down here. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So we can see here it's now turned red because I've navigated away from the page. So now we've ended the call, we can go into the analytics portal in the control panel. And we can see that the most recent test call here is 44 seconds long. And straight away, seeing the flat line here indicates that there's been a period of silence. And if we start playing from this point, So this is the point where the PayPal window was active. And this is the point where we navigated back to the call center page. So that's an overview of how to install the Clarify PR client application and to integrate it with your eight by eight tenant. Thanks for watching.